Hi folks, it's Bill here for Bill's Bonsai. How are you doing today? Uh, again, it's another one of these squinty-eyed type of bright days. Um, so I'm trying to kind of keep in the shade so I'm not squinting too much. Uh, but I just hope you can see me, see me okay. I'm afraid, I'm afraid if I go into the sunshine, it's just like pretty bad um, for the video. So listen, this video is about um, a little project, a little idea that I had to do with these little crab apples that I have behind me here and <clears throat> I bought 10 ordered sorry I should say I ordered 10 from like a hedging company and I got 11 um, delivered which is fine and I put them into these these little black pots uh, I think they're 4 litre pots I think and what I did before, while, before I print, uh, planted them was trim off the tap root, try to keep the radial roots the best I could and um, and then plant them in the pots. Now for we surprise what I did with the radial root there the tap root says I planted them and I don't know if you can see that they're sprouting. <laughs> so I put some of the tap roots in this pot in this and uh, yeah they're starting to sprout starting to sprout. I don't know if you can see that but you can maybe see some little little sprouts popping up there. So they're sprouting. And then so what I did with the what I did with the what I did online was I went into a Facebook group in in the UK and I wrote this. I have ten of these crab apple whips. I actually have eleven, right? But I'll just I ordered 10, so in my head I had 10. Um, I got them bare roots some months ago. I trimmed the tap root and planted each one in its own pot. I'm thinking of adding wire to put some bends in the trunks before it becomes too difficult. Does anyone have any thoughts on how to deal with these whips? What would you have done with them? What would you do to them now? Thanks, right? So, anyway, so I'm asking basically, what would you do with them? So, I've got a selection of replies and what I'm going to do is for each of the replies I've got I'm going to pick one of the trees and actually do what I suggest on the thing, right? So here's one I just messed about with, put a bit of wire and took just so it wasn't so straight put a wee bit of wire and give it a wee haircut at the top there, reduce the height of it obviously I don't know how tall it's going to be overall but the idea is just to sort of put a wee bit of a shape in the bottom so something up right so the first reply was from a chap called Matt um, it's like nice I grew a ton of whips like here in the nursery so this chap has a this person has a nursery uh, he goes I put I love to put wire wire on them all the way up to the top and put romantic abstract curves in them to make them narrowed to make a narrowed tree that resembles a coiled up dragon. Uh, when, I, when I feel grow them I often leave the wire on to allow the bark to envelop it to give it a cool texture effect. Sometimes once the wire is invisible below the sometimes when the wire is visible below the bark I carve along the wire spiral to create a nice deadwood scar. Uh, you can take advantage of the length by making a split over the side of your pot to create a cascade. So I see, so he's like cutting the part out of the pot and cascading it down right, with tons of movement in it, way beyond the common S curve that we see in commercially mass produced bonsai. Tons of potential in these things, don't be shy and experimenting. Everything I've described is on the five year plan at the minimum. It's fun to watch them evolve, evolve, and start new ones every year. Okay. So basically, what you're seeing is get something like this and get some dramatic cars, maybe cascade style, what have you. All right. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll do that one first.
some kind of crazy thing there <laughs> okay so there's done something daft with that one something radical I've snapped a wee bit at the top there anyway that's uh, the first one done <sighs> right where's my next Chap called Dean. I'm not a fan of the Eskal personally. If they spent months establishing roots, I would give them a relatively hard prune to get some back budding. Let it grow for a season and then you can select the style and shape it next year. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Now, this one's got a nice wee sort of bit of shape there, but then it goes up like a stick. So hard prune, I would say. I'm tempted to go to that one there um, just to sort of change his direction because it's getting a bit straight up there I'm also tempted to go to this one be well that one there because it's got some just for leaves but uh, let's go hard okay there you go pal so Ian that's your hard, hard print yeah <laughs> Joe, I like what you did so far. I'd put a couple of bends. Uh, they'll straighten a bit as they grow, but I'll show. But it'll show some movement. Let it grow this year, and when you branch out, you can start to shape them. Well, I did one already. Uh, but let's just do it again anyway. A couple of bends. Uh, let's see what one we'll start with. that down there just now. Hope you can see okay. <coughs> Pop it over there. So yeah because that needs right okay. This is quite this is like four mil wire. And I'll probably just do something similar to what I did. Uh, and the, the earlier one, the one I showed you at the beginning, the one I did. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. So I'm just going to fire that right in there. So I'm going to push that to leave. So I'm sitting in the back garden, it's a beautiful day, the neighbours are out. So if you're hearing music and stuff like that, it's, uh, it's my neighbours. Uh, I'm not selecting it to play over the track, over this uh, video. So my neighbours play music, they're out in the garden doing and stuff. So obviously, it's just, to me it is, I'm afraid, it's the day. It's in its 20s today. Edinburgh. Right, so hopefully that's enough for that. It just kind of went like that. Give it a wee sort of push in that direction. That bit there. Just sort of push in this direction. Over there. Maybe push in that direction. Just to put a little bit of movement. <sighs> so 
so a bit of a twist at the top there. So that's just a bit of movement there. You can see that. Okay, I'm just going to snip it up there actually. Okay. So maybe we we leave there. Right. <coughs> So that was uh, that was Joe. Couple of bends. So Jamie wrote, "I'd wire them low down and put some shape in the future trunk. The shape of the top is irrelevant in my honest opinion. Just let that grow tall and cut it back when you're ready to do that all again." So there's a little skinny one. There's one there that's pretty straight. So uh, I'll use this 4mm wire again. And I'll try and get it a bit tighter around the bottom. So warm. To be honest, I'm actually not very much of a fan of wiring or anything. Um, I always say that I just prefer to clip and go. Right, that's actually got a little bit of a curve this way, so the first bend will be going in this direction. Hopefully, pulling that wire's tight enough actually at the very base, so I'm going to be careful. Even cracking. <laughs> dear, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a bit of a curve. Alright, and after that, nobody cares. Okay, so there's a little bit of a curve in that one. So, that was for Jamie. Just like a yeah, yeah. Right, so another one, another chap um, called Scrap It. Definitely would wire, but you could also let them grow and gain vigour. Then hit the trunk with a chop later. Wiring is fun, but it's also, it's just an optional step in the bonsai process. I look at bonsai as a house. You can't build a house without setting a foundation first. You can't build a roof without the walls first. So roots, trunk and branching, so roots is foundation, the trunk is the walls and the branching is the roof. So basically, he's basically saying, just let it grow, it's optional. So I'm just going to let one grow and I'll just let that one grow. Uh, that one. Because it's already got nice some branching, some nice branching going on anyway, so I'll leave that one to grow. Okay. Mike, definitely get some bends in them now. They get hard to bend later. The sun's went behind the cloud, so I hope you can see things a bit better now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's a little branch quite low down on this, which I don't like, so I'll try and avoid doing any damage to that if I can.
Okay, that's just a bit muddy. But here ho, it's done. Right, so Gail, she wrote, I think you're doing the right thing, go for it. Ah, well, maybe I should actually put wee names on these, yeah, that'll like put the people's names in. I think I'll try and do that actually. So, go for it means uh, I've bare rooted, um, I've got a bare root, I trimmed the tap root off, planted each in its own pot, I'm thinking they add in wire. So she said, go for it to, to put some bends in. So she says, I think you're doing the right thing, go for it. So, okay, I'll just put a wee. A wee bend in this one as well. Um, and I'm actually going to cut the top off, try and develop some things further down. I don't even know if that's the right thing to do to be honest with you. That one there, for Gail. Sunday, uh, he also says I would wire and put some bends in them. Also try wrapping wire tightly around at least one of them and put some radical bends in, just so that it, and just like grow freely with the wire attached. The tree will grow around the wire, making it thicker and giving it a nice texture. Well, see, I didn't really like that scarring. I just want to show you something. So what I've got here is a Chinese elm that I bought from a supermarket kind of place, um, DIY shop actually, and I don't know if you can see the scar in there and there where the wires have been wrapped around it, and it's not very nice, and it's caused, I don't know if that's caused, but that, wire, that scar goes right round, you can see, but there's some inverse taper here as well, uh, doesn't it? and that's thicker there. Well, it looks thicker because it's f f uh, flattened and widened, I don't know. No, maybe it's just thicker. Um, I'm, I'm worried about that kind of thing happening, so I don't really like the scarring. So, I'm not going to wrap it tight. Again, uh, it's just a wee... Just a wee bend, I think, if we're putting it. Some beans in this one. 
have to get the wires tight. Right, so what do you say? I've got the wires to tighten some, to some bends that I've added up. Tight as I can get. Also try to wire it to the round, at least it's one of them, a radical bend in. A radical bend. Radical, eh? Yeah. Okay. Right, so, and then the very last person to comment, just put a full stop. So, what you say, thanks to everybody who's actually contributed uh, to that post on Facebook. He gave me these suggestions and answered my questions and what to do with these trees uh, and hopefully hopefully things will turn out yeah, okay so folks thanks for watching this video hope you found it entertaining and amusing uh, informative scary doing something like that to a tree um, it's, it's, I'm not a big fan of wire or anything to be honest with you I like to just clip it but that's what we did and I hope the people in the Facebook group don't mind me I just used the first names I hope you don't mind um, <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up guys and please subscribe to the channel it's going to help me immensely so thanks very much bye now